Hey guys, what's going on? It's me, Bad Boy Jaspers. What's up? What's going on? Welcome back to the vlog. Today, we're going to be looking at the New Deck Order's bounty number 4 and the entries that have been entered into it. As you guys may know, normally what I do is I check the entries out on my phone beforehand, figure out which ones are the top ones that I want to recommend to, for the other people to check out and figure out which one is the winner. Put that all in one single video and then just upload it to School of Country. This time, however, what I want to do is slightly different. What I want to do is check out the entries, make some conversation, tell you you guys what I think about each individual entry and this will allow the people who enter the competition to have a clue of how to improve themselves for the next round of the competition. Let's go, let's check it out. Hashtag NDO Bounty 4. Alright, customized Jasper's deck decks, pink and black. Pretty cool. Very cool camera work. One more time. Alright. So it goes to the back to show a slightly different display and goes back to the front to show a worm goes into each display and close. First thing I want to say is that the pink and black chest with X. Pretty cool. Not having your own new deck order deck of playing cards. It's a very clever idea to just make your own NDO deck of playing cards and then just upload using that. The fact that there is a part of the worm variation that Sam Cole is doing looks better from the back view and therefore you design the camera angles to move to the back so that you can see exactly what is going on in the back very very smart i like that idea and then it goes into the edge display which is a display that i don't see very often very very cool entry sam cole one tip that i would give to sam cole is that because you're shooting in the corner of the room the cards look a little bit on the dark side which doesn't look very good. So instead of that, find a way so that you can angle out towards the light and then your cards look bright and nice to look at. Moving along. Like Danny J Poon's entry using the SOC V1s. Ooh, the lighting is on point. It's a classic black background look with nice lighting coming straight from the front to make it very visible, make the cards very visible. Uh, the movement is clear. There's some really advanced moves being happening here. I don't have much negative things to say about this video other than the fact that this specific look has been done to death and therefore it doesn't allow you to show much uh, individuality. If I was just looking for a simple, powerful, good looking video, this video would work. But this is a bounty man. This is a bounty, you hear me? It's not just about making a simple, good looking video. It's about showing personality. It's about showing your style. So for future reference, Danny, maybe you want to think about how else can you spice up your video? How can you show your individuality, your own personal style? Food for thought. Either way, pretty good video. Moving along. Thunderous II. Ooh, self-opening fan. Okay, okay, that was a very cool looking 7 packet display. An instant worm, a Jasper's card. Real fast, everything is real fast. Look how he chose a yellow t shirt to go with the purple cards. Yellow and purple are complementary colors. This makes the purple cards stand out really, really well. All in all, I think this video is very stylish, very slick. But here are some tips that I have for you, Thunders, to take your video to the next level. All right, you're gonna take this video and you're gonna go all the way up to the next level. And here's how. Step one, stand a little bit closer to the camera. Look how the camera is framed right now. Most of the shots can see your entire torso. However, most cardistry moves don't cover the entire space of an entire torso. Most of it take up about a half torso range. So what you can do and what I recommend you do is to stand a little bit closer to the camera. This will allow you to show your cardistry in a clearer, more impactful way. Good job though. Good job. Next video is by Conti Magic. Let's check it out. Transparent cards, you do a spring, you can see everything on the ground. One tip for Conti Magic. Rule number one of the video is that you must use a new deck order deck of playing cards. This is not a new deck order deck of playing cards. So disqualified. Next, Danny J Poon has a second entry video. It's called ASMR. Turn the sound on. Let's give it a try.
So in this video, Danny J. Poon decided to have a little bit more style, a little bit more individuality in his video. Instead of going with just a normal black background video like he did in the previous one, he has decided to play with the sounds of the cards. In terms of the sound design, it's a pretty good cardistry video. But here are my critics. Number one, flip the video. Because you're using the selfie camera right now, all the logos are inverted. Your t-shirt is inverted. It's, it's pretty simple to just flip the video. So I think you should just throw it into a video editing software, flip it around, all will be good. Tip number two, Get a little bit more light. Because you're using a smartphone to record this video, the entire image looks a little bit mushy as your phone tries to noise cancel the video clip. And tip number three, I feel like the video could have been cut a little bit faster so that you have just a few more sounds in there and then it becomes more intense. But that being said, good job on this video. Just get a little bit more light. Good job, Danny. That's not an end deal that of playing cards. That's not an deal that of playing cards. Next up is a video by He Is Not Who. Ooh, odd style variation, nice. Whoa, the camera movement. Oh, oh. Wow, he's trying to chroma key. Is that a chroma key or is that a. He Is Not Who? Pretty good. Ah, he decided to chroma key both purple and orange to create the, the chroma key effect on the cards. Very cool. Lighting is pretty cool. Camera movement is very justified to move from the faces of the cards to the backs of the cards. Good job though. I like this video. This video has a lot of style and a lot of personality. I like it. Next video. Wylo Cardist. Jasper's card with three different Jasper's decks, four different Jasper's decks. Ah, the whole concept is to do the same move with four different decks. Alright, alright, pretty cool, your Locardis. Very simple concept of doing one single move with multiple different decks. Good job, I like it. However, in my personal taste, my personal opinion, instead of doing, you know, the opening part of the Jasper's card multiple times like this, you could have made it so that you opened it up slower and as you, your, the packet is moving, you're sort of cutting between different clips, therefore making the effect of the deck is like changing mid cut. I think that would be very impactful and very very cool. Good job though. Yellow Cardis has another different entry. Ooh, that is nice. One more time. Very simple concept for a cut but very well executed. Flip up, flip up, flip up. Oh my god. Okay, this video, I have no complaints. The lighting is nice to call attention to the cards. The music choice is nice where the music repeats and the cardistry move also repeats. Super cool. And the move itself is pretty well designed. All in all, good job, yellow cardist. I have no, I have no critic for this video. Next up is a video by Skybreaking Wolf. UV light on the cards. Oh, 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 oh. Whoa, what's that at the last part? Oh my god, the UV light is so cool. I have to tell you guys the truth. I didn't even know this deck was UV sensitive. I didn't even know that the Jasper's deck favorite day editions was UV sensitive. Didn't design that on purpose. Did he just throw a deck of playing cards onto a fan? How does he get that packet to jump onto the... Is that in reverse? It has to be in reverse. Beautiful under pressure, beautiful use of um, the prism cut. That, that packet toss where the packet flies onto the, the fan, that has to be reversed, right? What on earth is that? I have no comments for this. This video turned out very well. The concept is super cool. The move choices super cool. Good job, Skybreaking Wolf. Next up is a video by Danny J. Poon. His third entry. One more time. Can I see that move one more time, Danny? So it's a... Uh... Mm -hmm. Stack those, stack those, stack that. 
the music being recorded from a speaker is a weird choice. You could just edit it over, but I guess this wasn't a very serious entry to Danny. This is more of a she just wanted to add one more cool move to the entry. And in terms of the coolness of the move, this part looks a little awkward, but this part looks pretty cool. This is so cool too. It's just the opener. The opener looks a little weird. I'll let you figure out how you want to improve it. Looks. This is quarantine as a cardis. Wash your hands and then water instead of water coming out. It was an anaconda. And what was the second one? And it was a some sort of like the hand sanitizer dispenser. Ah, so cool. So cool. This whole concept is so cool. Glooks. Very cool. Very cool glooks. Oh my gosh. And the direction where the water flows or the hand sanitizer flows is exactly the direction that the the cards, the movement of the cards is moving in. Ah, oh, so cool, Glooks. 10 upon 10. Smart. Next is another video by He Is Not Who. Ooh, wow, using the edge of a card to push the edge of a card. Slide this out, move here, push there. Oh, so cool. He is not who, so cool. What's the move? What's the name of this move? Holy crap. Good job, he is not who. My only concern for this move is that the opener doesn't feel very clean and the closer doesn't feel very smooth or snappy. I feel like with a closer that looks like this in which all four packets sort of fall into place at the same time, it needs to be real snappy like damn like all the four packets just <laughs> come together. But in this case the four packets didn't come together perfectly and because of that I feel like the move isn't like clean or smooth enough. Good showing though, he is not who. Next video is by Ayato Olin. Alright. Alright. Okay. Okay, so he goes into a squeeze first. Very nice squeeze. Smoothly transition into a one card plus packet plus a deck in the hand. And then he goes into a Ace of Spades review. That giant sign at the beginning, which is made of a TV, I know. That giant sign at the beginning of the new deck order bounty. Very nice. The way you use the movement of the camera to show like different aspects of the move. Very nice. However, one pet peeve that I have with a lot of combos that people do. Is this a deck that I can show? Yeah, this is the. Let's say your card is doing a sick combo and you're like And then you toss one card into a packet here and you immediately pick it up just to show it again. That feels a little bit like, like the flow of the move doesn't work very well. It feels weird, almost as if you're going like, oh, I'm gonna throw it here. Oh wait, I still needed it. And then you're showing it again. Instead, it would be nicer if you don't have to like drop the card and then immediately pick up that card and then show it again. You know, good job though. Ayato Olin, good job. Next video is by Crescent Light. Whoa. Holy shit, the amount of filters on this. It's almost like Crescent Light is into my style of like the, the distortion videos. Ooh, what's going on? What's going on? Is there no sound? There has to be sound to this. It's a cool 4 packet card that uses the legs. 5 packet card that uses the legs. And then sort of like make some kind of pattern, uh, some kind of like movement with the legs. Alright, pretty cool. In terms of the distortion, I have no complaints about it. I personally have been getting more and more into the distortion aesthetic. I like when I twist the footage up and crush it up and make everything go haywire and everything looks all washed up. That, that feeling of footage that is like just assaulting my senses, I like that feeling very very much. Pretty good on that. I feel like you could distort it even more crescent light. I like the beginning one, the beginning effect, this one. This one I don't really like. This feels like it's, it's just an overlay of sorts. But this one, the last one, 
Oh my god, that looks so twisted. That that footage looks so twisted. I love it. Next up is a video by <laughs> Next up is a video by Phelum Beautiful SOC V trees. This is a weird closer. One more time. Nice opener. So smooth with the movements. Close it. Pretty good, Phelan. Pretty good. If NDO Bounty Round 4 was about showing me your individual style move or, or the coolest, cleanest cardistry move, you might have won it, Phelan. However, with regards to the theme of the competition, this round's contest is about creating a 10 second video for the bounty. And I feel like, in terms of how far you could have gone with the video, this doesn't feel like a very crazy video. This feels like Mm. I was hoping for something fresh and sick and twisted but instead I mean don't get me wrong I think the move looks good either way good job Phelan moving along to the next one Joshua Fix Jasper's cut very nicely executed ooh that's a ooh he caught it and then went straight into a fan rainbow spring on point Jasper's cut on point unspread toss catch throw into a fan and then a variation of the Jasper's card at the end. That's a great video, Joseph Flex. Oh, he has an odd style t shirt too. Oh my gosh. Joshua Flex. Whoa, who is this Joshua Flex? Oh, that's a nice rainbow spring. That looks so tight and clean. And that photo's pretty cool too. Cool. Damn, Joshua, that's a good video. Holy crap. Alright, and the next video. Oop! And that's the last one. Oh wow! Alright, so that was my look at the new deck orders bounty number 4 video entries. Holy crap, the standard of the videos in this round's bounty is, is much higher than I expected. I mean, in the previous few rounds, there are always like one or two videos that really stood out and really were more impactful than the other videos. But in this round, it feels like there were five, six really, really good entries. I'm blown away. I mean, I'm, I'm really proud of you guys. No, I'm bad boy Jaspers. I gotta tell you guys what's up. Huh, the video quality wasn't up to scratch. This is a 10 second video entry, yo. <laughs> nah, nah, I'm just kidding. The videos were really, really good. I really enjoyed the videos. Shout outs to all the guys who entered the new deck orders bounty number four your videos uh, they were so good i'm very very proud of you guys thank you guys very much for joining the competition and the results will come out within 24 hours on the school of cardistry channel for now however i'm gonna have to look through all the videos and figure out which four are like the honorable mentions of all the cardistry videos that entered and also figure out who is number one the winner of the 52 dollars store credit and the victor in all our hearts until next time guys thank you guys very much for watching this vlog video stay at home stay safe wash your hands frequently and don't forget to check out school of cardistry's channel for the results for the new deck orders bounty 4 and also the rules for new deck orders bounty 5 love y'all bye bye purple guy can we get back to watching cool youtube videos I saw one just now, it was really cool. Come on. <laughs> man, I love watching shows with you, man. Thanks, purple guy. <laughs>